Hi everybody, Alex the Ploy here from Expert Forex and in this video we're going to be looking at the Hedge EA, the new one that was launched just recently and is now showing a 90 six percent success rate so in this video uh, what we're going to do is we're going to review the trading environment for the last while we're also going to look at the test trading account result and i'll show you where you can find details of these test trading accounts and then we're going to have a look at some additional test accounts that are planned for the future and then the most important part of this video is I'm going to show you a no optimization way that I find winning strategies and it I can tell you it's not rocket science very easy and then I'm going to show you how to find drawdown information from FX blue for these accounts and I'm going to remind you of the up to 80% launch special that is available on our expert forex hedged trading account so we've got a really full video it's a hands-on video because I'm actually going to show you me making the changes to these accounts if required <laughs> Now that sums up the market as it is at the moment. On your screen you can see the pound yen chart and it is a wild thing because look at this, these trends that have happened and this was during the launch, we launched around about there but look at this trend that happened here, it is a 726 pip trend that ended at 5 o'clock and started at 10 o'clock. Up there then then the trend went into a 350 pip trend upwards then a 159 pip trend downwards and then a 386 pip upwards 205 pips downwards the smallest one 87 pips upwards and then one a a 481 pip trend downwards and then a 308 that is what the EA basically traded through this wild market that we in at the moment now the indicator that I'm using here is another great song it's the good vibrations indicator because it actually shows you the vibrations in the market and most importantly when they actually start and stop and uh, using this indicator we created the most successful manual trading system um, th that made a huge amount of money. So if you want to go and download this Good Vibrations Indicator, it is freely available on the EA Factory website. You have to be a customer of Expert Forex to get your hands on that. You could most probably find it elsewhere. Good Vibrations Indicator, really, really great one. Okay, so that sums up the environment that the hedged EA traded through while. Just a quick comment on this chart is that uh, this is why the hedged EA works. While it's trading in a particular trend, you always are cashing in on either the hedged leg of the EA or the distressed leg of the EA all the time. The other thing is that you can see that prices, although there was a huge big trend, prices do correct and you look at that trend, it corrected and, 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 and corrected again and corrected. So it's as if the market is driven by fear and greed, years the fear and greed playing out and then suddenly some sensibility comes in and say what did we do, how could we approach the price that far and it corrects itself. Same thing here, what did we do here, 500 pip trend and it starts correcting itself and that is the basis of this EA, it, that it firstly trades, that it cashes in on, on trends but it also takes advantage of these retracements that occur in the market all the time. Okay, so let's have a look at the results so far. And as you can see by looking at the equity balance, all the accounts, all the 20 test accounts are positive. So just to give you some background where these test accounts come from, here is the marketing page of the Expert Forex Hedge Trading Robot. And if you go down on that particular page, we supply you with settings and there are the settings 
two, uh, 20 accounts and they are the various settings that are being traded if you want to look at the FX blue detail you just click on that link so today we're going to be discussing these settings in a lot more detail and we're going to look at the results generated by these particular settings so that's where you find the settings and that's when we provide it for you before you even buy you can look at these details after you've buy, bought it then here's a great starting point for settings to use for your expert forex hedged ea okay so here are the results of those accounts they all started with ten thousand dollars and here you can see the fantastic results all of them are positive that's the first thing you need to note the other thing is that there are some fantastic returns that's actually a 19 percent return in just over one week 13 percent 11 percent return so the, it's returning some great returns uh, the drawdowns are reasonably under control here's one that's a little bit big and the closed profits as you can see are nicely positive so so far the test accounts and the settings that we have supplied owners of the expert forex hedged trading robot are showing great promise and maybe now is a good time to remind you that the launch specials are almost over there's only about two days left to get these never to be repeated prices on the expert forex hedged ea and just a reminder that the settings for all of these uh, accounts are available on the marketing page so we are actually giving you the settings that are producing these great results we also have created 10 more trading accounts and here they are you can see the there is only one that's negative and it's only negative by 25 dollars so that is where the 96 percent success rate comes from all the accounts are, are positive except for one that's negative by 25 dollars all reproducing great results again 11 percent return uh eight percent return five percent return and so on the settings for these ones in in particular are not currently available we will possibly make them available in the next week or two because these are more experimental of nature then we are going to start another group of currencies and one of our participants in our forum have looked at creating lower risk bundles of currencies now to explain that uh, they the lower risk ones consist of four currencies and there's currency one currency two currency three currency four and why they are lower risk is that a currency does not repeat itself in that batch of four currencies so the usd you'll see it's not there the the new zealand yen it's not in that group so the idea is you create a, a bunch of currencies where if the usd starts a massive trend it doesn't affect the other currencies that you're trading or do, you don't double up on that particular trend and the same thing with the uh, the uh, yen the yen is inclined to trend quite a lot you can see it only occurs once and if you go through that you can see the same thing and then by analyzing this a little bit further by the volatility of the various currencies and the spreads experienced by those various currencies you can also find the efficient groups of of currencies and the ones that are less efficient and as i mentioned their group three and five uh, um, are more efficient and uh, group two five and six so what we're going to do is we're going to be opening accounts to trade these type of um, groups of currencies and that will also be available to traders in the next week or two so we're busy really providing as many settings to our owners of this EA to provide them with really a good chance of making the best out of it okay so what we're going to be working on today are these settings that show the current status of the settings and the maximum drawdown so far has been updated very uh, nicely so we know what the maximum drawdown is of these settings and that's important because i am driven mainly by reducing this maximum drawdown 
and it has been updated today but what we are going to do is we are going to change these settings to make them generate lower drawdowns so how do we change the settings to generate lower drawdowns i have produced this video that explains it in detail it is how you protect your equity in other words you reduce your drawdowns for expert forex robots and uh, this video has been out for a while and i think a lot of people have taken good notice of it in the video and this is a slide from the video at at, at uh, time 2.30, there are some of the things that we will be looking at today. It's the account size, the lot size, the currency exposure, the gap sizing, increased gap sizing, and the skip function. Those are all settings that help you protect your equity. The best settings ever. So what, what we'll do straight away is we're going to have a look at the accounts that need attention. And to do that, I'm actually going to use the live spreadsheet that I have here in front of you. And we're going to change the settings to make them less risky and produce lower drawdowns. Okay, so let's have a look in general at the count results. And I'm going to look specifically, I'm not really worried about income. I know income will come by itself. That's the beauty of this EA. It always produces positive results. So the income side, I don't have to worry about. The only thing I need to worry about is the drawdown side. So I have got the most recent figures for these drawdown. And while I'm talking about that, let me show you where I found the figures from. Okay, so where to find the uh, the drawdown figures is I click on this FX blue link. So I click on that and it opens the portfolio of the test accounts. There is the portfolio. Then I say, all right, well, I want to see the individual accounts. So I go to the portfolio side of things. And there I get a list of the actual accounts. I see some have gone marginally negative. And that is because over weekends, the brokers increase their spreads tremendously. And that affects the open uh, trades. And they tend to go negative over weekend. But on the Monday morning, they're positive again. So this is where I find the details. So we were looking at, uh, and let's take hedge number one as an example. I'm going to click on that one. And it opens the details of hedge number one. There, there they are. And if you want to look at them in a more in an easier to read way, you can have a look at the currencies that have been traded, the uh, pips that have been made, uh, one thousand three hundred pips that have been made. Nicely positive results because the closed uh, closed profits are much higher than the open trades. So let's have a look where I find the drawdown figures. And I go in there, stats. Then I go into charts. And I click on floating profit and loss cash on an hourly basis. Now, I must point out, so in other words, FX Blue will work out the drawdown on an hourly basis. So there's the drawdown. So all I have to do is I'll say, where's the lowest drawdown? And that's about 1,300. That's where I get the drawdown figures. This is not always 100% accurate, but it's accurate enough for our purposes. You can see the current drawdown is 1,000. It was showing about 1,400 in there. So let's go back to the schedule that we'll be working with. Okay, so now it's a case of which accounts need changes in their settings. And the way I evaluate at the moment, at the moment is I say, I am not happy to have accounts that have drawdowns more than $2,000. So that's the limit I'm using. As I go along, I might lower that to 1,500 or even 1,000 as I'm going along. But at this stage, I want to give the accounts enough freedom to generate up to 2,000. If they go over that, I don't, I'm not interested in them anymore. So let's go and have a look and find ones that that need attention. So these those ones seem to be, a, oh, there's definitely one that needs attention. Let me just mark it here. And uh, we go on and on and on and on. Now, by the way, I have already done, made some changes during the week. So I'm, I review this very regularly. And you'll see, I'll show you the ones that I have changed. That's definitely over. 
and that. So we've got three accounts that need attention. The other thing I look for are accounts with unrealistically low drawdowns. Now, for instance, there, it's a $4 drawdown on that particular account. Um, let's see if there's any, uh, there's some 200 ones, 200 ones. Uh, a, a very low drawdown can also mean that your lot sizing is too small. In other words, you not trading aggressively enough, but let's leave that for maybe next week's review or the week thereafter. So we've got three accounts that we need to pay attention to. That one's way over, that one's way over, and that one's way over. So it's number five that we've got to look at. So to do number five, uh, let's do number five. We're going to call. We're going to look at the actual trading account. So let's do that. And here are the accounts that are being traded at the moment. And we go to hedge number five, and we look at that one. Open it up, and there it is. Okay, not to worry about those error messages. If you get an error message like that, sometimes uh, you just go boom, boom, and click on. OK, and voila, the error message goes away. So I'm not too concerned about that particular one at this stage. Uh, we are, however, concerned of uh, concerned over this number here. We are, however, concerned about the maximum drawdown that, that was experienced by this particular account. At the moment, the drawdown is very low, so it's not a major problem. But we don't want accounts that have the potential of even going over 2000. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings and have a look at them. OK, so here are the settings. And um, now from that video that I mentioned earlier and that slide that I mentioned earlier, I'm going to looking, uh, be looking at the items that impact the drawdown. So the first and most powerful item is the lots that are being traded. So what we're saying here is that there is 0.1 lot traded. I am going to halve that. So by halving the lots, I'm already reducing the drawdown experience by this account and um, uh, the drawdown on number five has been two seven. So by dry, by reducing the lots, I have now reduced it to one thousand three hundred and fifty. Already, I've brought it below the two thousand level that I like. So that's the quickest way of reducing your drawdown is just simply reduce your lots. So I've reduced the lots there. So let's have a look what else. The multiplier seems to be okay. The uh, take profit seems to be okay. And the hedging. So so, so I, I'm happy with those. What I will do is I'll also just change the take profit a little bit, make it a little bit higher, and I'll change that to 350. So the main adjustment I've made is to the lot sizing. I'm just going to have a look. Oh, oh, the other factor that affects drawdowns is the gap size. So I, I, I like increasing the gap size by that. Okay, so that's what I've done. I've changed the settings for this particular e, uh, uh, robot. And uh, I then pr uh, click on OK. And from now on, it will use the new settings. Now, I've got a choice here. I can either open a brand new account and start trading that with the new settings, or I can just continue trading the existing account because it is fairly under control. It's got a small drawdown at the moment, and hopefully in future it will um, uh, adhere to the new settings but unfortunately there are too many open trades so what i'm going to have to do is i'm going to have to scrap this old account and start with a new one so that's exactly what i'm going to i'm just going to go into file open an account and there it go oh i wonder if it's active the ig sometimes closes their accounts early in the morning uh i know Saturday morning and I agree and it goes next and there's our new account so we are just press fresh and now the old account will disappear 
and a new account will appear and I have no open trade so the new account will trade the new settings there they are there it is and a hedge five will now have a balance of ten thousand dollars and next week when the market opens it will trade the new settings so that's as simple as it gets that's how by trial and error i make the accounts less exposed to drawdowns and less risky so let's close uh, so let's go back to this account and i now what i need to do is update those settings on my spreadsheet now I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to waste your time by doing that. I will come back to that and update the spreadsheet with the new setting. So let's have a look at the other account that needed attention. So we did that one. So 18 and 19 need attention. They also way over the top there. And let's go and do that. So it's 18, open 18. There it is. It also has a little error message there, and I just go and get rid of that error message. It's, uh, this is just a mini communication uh, message more than it. It just said I tried to open an, a trade, and I couldn't. Uh, but what it then does is it retries and retries and uh, solves that problem. But it's telling you that at some stage I had a problem. Okay, so this one is fine now. It uh, also has a very small drawdown, um, but it has had a big drawdown so we want to change the, the settings now i'm being quite severe when i change the lot sizing to uh, uh, by halving it but I, it is the most the quickest way of getting uh, i think the uh, uh, drawdown was one th uh, 2300 suddenly it's now the maximum uh, what would have been only 1150 so that is the quickest way to make a drawdown so then we look at other things that might be causing a risk a uh, gap size of 25 that's a nice size i'm not going to at this stage uh, change that uh, you, you remember the previous one was 15 that's why i moved it up um, the lot size multiplier that one uh, can increase risk so i'm going to go for 0.3 now from now on that will reduce your exposure to drawdowns top up trades three that's a lot but i'm going to leave it that's uh, take profit is nice and big that's that's fine and then your lot size multiplier wow three uh, i'm going to leave that for now it is high but i'm going to leave it for now the uh, lot size and the um a multiplier size is enough to bring the drawdown down quite a lot and then again as i say we rev i'm going to review it regularly the minute i see a lot of accounts going over 2000 i do exactly what you're seeing now so by trial and error i find the best settings that's how it works it's, it's not cheating it's that's the way you find settings now uh, uh, many people ask but how did you find the starting settings now remember i created this ea so i know more or less what i created what i how i want the ea to change so i just I just randomly select settings that i think are going to work that's how i found There's no optimization involved i just said if i was going to trade this ea what are the settings that i would likely am i likely to use and i um, i use the guidance that i've got from my from the wave trader and the rsi trader and and the profit retriever and all those i know more or less what the multipliers they like and all that so i use my past trading experience and i just put random numbers in the other thing about these eas which i must you can put really most settings will work it's, it's, it's just as simple as that if you do have simple settings not not complicated but the most simple settings and you'll see these are very simple settings that i'm using uh, will work and that's why we have this high rate of, of of success is that most settings work so you don't have to try and perfect your settings um you just need to uh, refine them as i've shown you right now refine them to reduce the drawdown so this is another group of of settings we say okay now on monday it's going to start trading those new ones and we say oh, we don't like this old account anymore we're going to um, open a new one
three. Okay, so now we'll have a brand new account with brand set new settings trading from uh, Monday. Okay, so let's go to the next one and we just put auto trading on for Monday and close it. And then the next one is 19. And now by now you've got a good idea what I'm going to do first. I'm going to get rid of error messages. And just click on OK. And there they've gone. And then I'm going to say, OK, let's have a look at the current status. All right, this one's got a, a, got a reasonable drawdown. We don't want that type of high drawdown. This one was 2,300. So we click on here. Advisors, properties. And we, the first thing I do is I hold the lots. So immediately I've solved the problem simple as that then we look at oh another price gap that's too small or well, not too small I, I suspect it's too small uh, and uh, then we go top up oh that's very reasonable only one skip that's also reasonable that's that a little bit low but seeing that we've uh, reduced the lot sizing that will keep that keep that four maximum tray pairs that's uh, you'll see it's only traded three and then the maximum currency exposure is one which means it will only trade one currency if it opens four trades you'll only find one currency being uh, used once and then the hedge oh this one doesn't uh, increase the hedging sizing it keeps us at one i'm going to keep that for now we need variety in our testing and we say okay but then I go through the same procedure. Um, open an account. Oops, there it is. New account. Boom, boom. I agree. There I, see how quick it is. Boom, boom. There it is. And we finish off. So then it will replace the old account with the new account use the new settings on Monday and we are fine okay and then we put auto trading on and uh, we close it so so that is basically what I do is I review the settings um, regularly uh, if there are ones that have drawdowns that are too um, too high uh, then I change the settings accordingly so what I'm going to be doing now is I'm actually going to be uh, updating the settings for 5 18 and 19 and I'm going to republish this so this actually gives the publication date and time of uh, the, the this particular sheet and and the drawdowns will be applicable the new accounts will have a drawdown of zero so that, that so I know those are new accounts uh, immediately uh, I've, I've changed that now so uh, that's no longer a, um, a factor and it also then tells users that that is a new account you can see uh, I have done this before so all the all you have to do is you look at which accounts have 0.05 so you can see those are the ones that have been changed um, up to now uh, and then obviously those other ones will have them. Um, so th uh, so that's how I review not only the the hedge testing accounts, but all the linked accounts that I am responsible for. I have a look. I look at the maximum drawdowns. I don't like drawdowns that are big. And then I reduce the, 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 the settings. Now you will notice that the profitability drops when I do that. But I'd rather have... A, an account that survives the wildest market than one that blows and this is the way that I do that okay so let's have a look uh, I have reviewed the trading and wild environment that we're trading through I've, I've shown you the test account results I've showed you the additional test accounts that are planned and are currently running I've shown you a non optimization way that I find win winning settings I make them up and then I change the settings to reduce risk because I don't have to worry about profitability 
profitability will come by itself using the profit recovery and the hedging approach. And I, I did remind you of the up to 80% launch special, will, which will disappear pretty quickly, depending on when you watch this video. It might already be over. So please do not miss this one-time special. Uh, links to anything mentioned in this particular video will be in the description of the video, as well as in the first commentary. So, so for me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.